Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the official opening of the gold standard of fashion, that is the Soto Fashion Corner. Stay tuned because you're about to see the who's and who's of Lesotho, the most beautiful people on this planet. You'll, you'll get to mingle with them, you'll get to know them, and you'll get to ask them questions. Stay tuned. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still here at the premiere of the first episode of Fashion Corner. And here with me, we have Noma Welcome to the premiere of the first episode of Fashion Corner. Um, so tell me, you look beautiful, honestly. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so Make sure that I treat my voice because uh, I've been doing some people yeah, yeah, yeah. lately. And then I have to make sure that the designer gets the traditional touch of my outfit because me be me I cannot go anywhere without showcasing my culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, so I'd just like to hear from you. What do you think about the brand as a sort of fashion week, the relentless drive to perfection and what's your general opinion on the brand as a sort of fashion week? I think it's such a very good and yeah, I mean we've never had something like this before. And to see young people going on out, showcasing fashion, you know, it's caught so much attention and people are like we wanna be part of this. And I feel so privileged to be here. Um, I so actually <laughs> love everything about it. Thank you, thank you very much. What are your expectations out of tonight? I want to see this episode. I really cannot wait. You know, um, the beauty of the presenters, the eloquence. I mean, I just love everything. I just want to hear the content they have prepared for us this time. Yeah. So um, this is an exclusive event, as you know. Who do you, who are you looking forward to see? I want to see the models. You know, I want to see the TV personalities that will be here. I want to see the designers. Yes, I am just looking forward to seeing you. Um, well, <laughs> we are really happy to have a big personality like you in the house tonight. Obviously, thank you very much for being with us. Please do enjoy the rest of the night and do give your reviews on social media, of course. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> We are here on this red carpet with the famous great content creator, we Victoria Moko. Yeah. And how are you? Welcome. I'm Welcome fine, thanks. How are you? Thank you very much. You look amazing. You look stunning. Tell me about your outfit. What inspired you? <laughs> okay, uh, my outfit was inspired by uh, uh, street culture, a bit of formality. Yeah. Uh, blend of both, you know. I, just I, I feel I feel those vibes on every get you. Yeah. We have it. He's inspired by street culture and formality, and he killed it. He nailed it. <laughs> and tell me, uh, how do you feel about the sort of fashion week and its drive to build the fashion industry in our country? Oh, um, I think the sort of fashion week is doing a lot in the entire creative landscape of Lesotho. Um, it's bringing fashion, uh, content creators, um, photographers, filmmakers together and as a platform I think it's on to a good start and on to a good uh, trajectory so I'm looking forward to many more things. I'm really excited about the screening and what they have to say about the fashion industry. Look at you answering all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hear you to answer. But yes, yeah. and tell me, okay, can tell me about who you're looking forward to meeting at this show. I'm looking forward to meeting uh, the fashion icons uh, okay. uh, in the sort of the fabric era. Yeah. You're definitely going to get what you're expecting. Okay. And that's it. We got it from the Tepli Ramoko. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, what a joy ride. And right about now with me on the red carpet, I have Gatiso from Joachim. So, Gatiso. Um, we, we do, it's, a, it's, it's a pleasure having you here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank um, you so much. I don't know if I should be asking this question, yeah, but um, your outfit, when you decided to bring it together and bring it alive yourself, yes. what did you have in mind? Um, I think uh, I always have the Holy Spirit directing everything. Yeah, That's how I do it. 
Right. So was it was it your first option to dress yourself, or did you have any other design in mind? Uh, I think I had I had a couple of design in mind, but I just I just thought for the convenience of you know the season and everything, I just just rock something that's warm at the same time and stylish. Yeah. All right. All right. Is there anybody you are spe specifically looking forward to seeing? Uh, tonight. Yeah. Um. um <laughs> No, I don't have anybody. All right, all right. Yeah. Do you have any expectations for us that you'd like us to, you know, fulfill? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm looking forward to see like new designs, you know, fresh ideas, uh, you know, like I'm just looking forward to meet creative people, you know, yeah. All right. That's what I'm looking forward to. All right, it's really, really a pleasure to have Joachim in the house tonight. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your time and yes, I hope I you do have fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Sure. I'm back here on the red carpet with the media personnel, gorgeous Mama Africa Diva. Um, hello, Diva, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Okay, like. Uh, I like your purse. My purse? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but you look too stunning. You look amazing. Thank you. Getting Mama Africa Diva vibe. I try sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you tell me what? What are you looking forward to seeing at today's event? Um, I'm actually, one thing I'm going to say is that I'm actually excited with the fact that um, I think it's like this is like the first collaboration I've ever seen in the situation. A uh, brand um, biggest yet collaborate with uh, the City Fashion Week. Yeah. So it's, it was like, oh, and wow, man, we're like, oh, this is beautiful. I'm and looking forward to the entire episode, okay. everything. And the media personalities who are going to be here, the models, everyone, I'm ready to see how they're going to rock the outfit. Okay. Yeah. You've already told me who you're expecting to see, so I'm not going to ask that question. <laughs> uh, tell me then, like, how do you feel about the City Fashion Week as a brand uh, with the motive of? and of building the, the fashion industry in our country. Tell me about that. It's actually building the, the brands and the fashion in, in this country. As one of the models who have walked down the ramp of Lesotho Fashion Week, I think they are doing a great job. Yeah. And the fact that actually they are uniting and they're working with the young people, the younger version and people who are going to implement good stuff like Energetic things, Yana, you understand? Because yeah, you guys, you have the style and everything. So the fact that they're collaborating with you, it's it's a while, it's a good thing. So okay, thank you. That's very great input. And there we have it from the amazing Diva. Thank you, Diva Madivana. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. My name is Tapan Diva. And I am the program director for the day. It is a privilege and a great honor, you know, for me to address such a high level audience. On behalf of the entire Lesotho Fashion Week, I would like to welcome you to the private screening of episode one of Fashion Corner, proudly brought to you by Lesotho Fashion Week in association with JET. For those of you who are with us for the first time, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce to you about this amazing platform. Lesotho Fashion Week is the only high profile business, business to business marketing uh, platform for a designer to start, develop, and grow their business. Lesotho Fashion Week promotes showcasing designers to the media, retail buyers, and their clients, both in Africa and internationally. Lesotho Fashion Week is held biannually, first in April, May. First in April, May, for three days, showcasing the autumn winter collections. And then six months later, in October, November, again for three days to showcase their summer, spring collections. Two seasons of catwalk have given Lesotho Fashion with a reputation and a track record of excellence. Since its inception in 2018 at Tabagusim Cultural Village, Lesotho Fashion Week has showcased over a hundred designers, students, emerging and established. In two biannual events, 
to an estimated crowd of over 10,000, comprised of television stations, photographers, fashion bloggers, magazine, newspaper editors, social media influencers, fashion buyers, as well as high-level government officials. Our designers come all over the globe, from all over the globe, rather, with a strong feel of Africa in their design themes. We present a fusion of African art and culture. Our core offering is giving visibility to young and upcoming designers on a high subsidized runway, thereby exposing them to the financially endowed, endowed uh, patronage and enabling them to convert their creativity into commercially sustainable small businesses. Today we have gathered to witness episode one of Lesotho Fashion Week's first ever fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel television show. As you get ready to watch this magic that is about to unfold, we will be streaming on both YouTube and Facebook at our handles at Lesotho Fashion Week and a million others will be joining us. The step change in digital arrives as a hastened beat to accommodate post-COVID-19 health guidelines and social gatherings and recreational travel still remain a taboo. This event is by invitation only, limited to 50 hand-picked VIP guests. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lesotho Fashion Week. Let's let the magic begin. I would now like to welcome Dino Sibuhudi to tell you more about Fashion Corner and how the partnership between Lesotho Fashion Week and JET came about. At only 20 years, at only 20 years old, Dino Sibuhudi is a second year student at Lincoln Queen University of Creative Technology, studying BA in journalism. She is a brand ambassador of the Soto Fashion Week and for JET. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Dino Sibuhudi. Thank you so much, Deva, Mr. Program Director, for that beautiful, beautiful introduction. And as he said, I am Dino Sibuhudi, the Soto Fashion Week Grand Ambassador and also Jet Ambassador. So, Lesotho has one of the highest um, unemployment rates in the world. At least one in every three Musutu is unemployed. And this is resulting in crime, low self-esteem, depression, and this is mostly among the youth, you know. And so, Lesotho Fashion Week thought, let's collaborate with JET, and the aim of this partnership is to connect a vast network of Basutu creatives to global markets that care about authentic African narratives. The partnership between JET and Lesotho Fashion Week is driven by our passion for Lesotho, its people and its creative talent. The partnership between Lesotho Fashion Week and JET is founded on the principles of shared value, repro reciprocity, and common objectives. As two brands at the forefront of fashion in Lesotho, we have a common objective of wanting, of wanting to connect a vast network of Basu to creatives to global markets that care about authentic African narratives. So JET has therefore officially joined forces with Lesotho Fashion Week as the exclusive retail sponsor of the launch of a brand, of a brand new fashion beauty and lifestyle television show called Fashion Corner. And some of you may be wondering, what exactly is Fashion Corner? So, and um, what can we expect from the show? 
So to answer this question, allow me to call on stage Jeremiah Jabavu to tell you more about Fashion Corner. At only 21 years old, Jeremiah Jabavu is a final year student as, at Limcon Queen University of Creative Technology, studying a BA honors, a BA honors in commun professional communication. Sorry, he's also a brand ambassador for Sutu Fashion Week and Jet. So, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Jeremiah Jabavu. Um. Well, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> well, distinguished uh, personnel in the house, your presence is felt, I must say. Y'all are looking amazing, and this is overwhelming, I must say. Y'all look amazing, and we did a hand for that. <laughs> well, like Dino has said, my name is Jeremiah Jababu, and I'll be taking you through of what Fashion Corner is about and what it actually entails and what we are hoping to achieve, you understand? So when we talk about Fashion Corner, we actually talk about um, the business of fashion that actually brings together the local uh, fashion uh, industry or fashion designers, connecting them with big thinkers across the globe. This is where we actually make them to connect and to, to explore other things that they didn't know that uh, they existed uh, um, like across the globe, like I said, you know, and each week we will be indulging into different topics that are actually hot and trending in the business of fashion. And this is what happens in Fashion Corner. We have four um, segments, which is uh, the, the fashion, um, fashion style. Fashion style, this is where we, we actually, uh, um, sorry, feature jet. And this is where each uh, designer, I mean, each presenter will be actually showcasing what they are wearing and their looks. And uh, on the segment, we actually offer a mini runway for you to get to appreciate what we, 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 we want you to, to see with our outfit. And I must say today, we are all dressed by Jet. And uh, the second segment is what is in the bag. What is in the bag, it actually features one of the dark personnel in the Soto, despite of uh, their industry, you know. This is where we uh, feature that kind of person and they actually get to spill the contents of what is in their bag and they get to talk about whatever that is in their bag. And then the third segment is the business of fashion. Business of fashion, yo, I love this segment a lot because we get to touch uh, more controversial topics that Basoto are not aware of. And this is where we get to, uh, to dive deep into fashion and its business, you understand? And our last fashion is fashion travel. Woo! And I love this one also. Okay, fashion travels gets fashion corner traveling a lot. This is why I like it. We get to go to road trips and we get to see the beauty of Lesotho. And um, this is where we actually uh, engage into uh, touristic activities. And this is where we show actually uh, more of um, touristic uh, area that we go to every time when we go shooting. Like last time we went to uh, Taba Basil and Ha, huh, I'm so excited. <laughs> and we have three presenters of Fashion Corner, which is myself, Jeremiah Jababu, Charlene McPherson, and Dinao Sibogudi. And that's a brief um, information about Fashion Corner. And hey, you should remember that Fashion Corner is the ultimate gold standard of fashion we know in Lesotho. And uh, thank you for listening attentively and for your attention. Let's enjoy. Oh, I, I forgot to say something. Right about now, uh, we are going to be screening the uh, Fashion Corner uh, video so you get to see what actually went down and uh, for, to, 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 for, for, and so for in, in inconvenience because we will be this side and the screening will start shortly. And yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We have our big screen right there and we'll get to see whatever happened there and then. That's it. Thank you so much. I have very high hopes in our fashion industry. I have very high hopes because we have a lot of creatives. We've seen beautiful collections come out of Africa, you know, to the world. And I think slowly but surely, we'll get it. Because we have to know, Uguti, there's a difference between uh, sales and marketing. While marketing actually promotes your business, uh, sales are what actually builds a relationship with your customers. Because there's absolutely no reason for us not to be recognized in a 
high fashion and in as luxury houses. So there's absolutely no reason. So kids, simple English. Education is still the key to success. Exactly. It does not matter if you're in the creative world or in the formal sector of education. Education is still the key to success. Welcome to post screening of Fashion Corner and my name is Jeremiah Jababu. I'm so excited and right about now I am with Ibad Khan who's going to tell us more about the preview of how he actually got to see the Fashion Corner first episode and how did you get to actually see it and what are your thoughts about it? It was a really nice setup, you know. Mm -hmm. I love the outfits, the colors and everything. And the, the places you visited yeah. yeah. On point. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Thank you so much. We're good. You heard it from Ibad. We're good to go. And thank you for your time. And this is amazing. And uh, go. We are. I'm here with the fabulous Lisedi Tidinyani. How are you, girl? Good. I'm good. So, after watching the first episode of Fashion Corner, how do you feel about it? Well, obviously I was excited at the beginning and I'm still excited for more. I need yes. more, need more, need more, 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 yes. more. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm, going, I'm just going to say in one word, describe Fashion Corner. Like right off the top of your mind. Don't think too hard about it. Fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. fantastic. Oh, oh, I'm flattered. I we love are the all singing. I loved it. Yeah, we are all flattered. And that was it from the city. Guys, you heard it. It was fantastic. Welcome to Fashion Corner post screening with me, Jeremiah Jababu. And right about now, I'm graced with the DSTV Barrier Manager, Mr. Hotomalabo. Good evening, and how are you? Great. Great, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So right about now, I'm going to ask you just one question. What was your overview around the whole episode of Fashion Corner? Well, I thought it was quite impressive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a whole new insight to fashion yeah. and, and what it's all about. Yeah. And I thought you guys tapped on to some really important points on how, what it would take uh, for the fashion, local fashion industry to grow to a grand scale. Um, and I thought those were quite some insightful points. And <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I think you, you really uh, met your objective there. And it, it was quite impressive. In a nutshell, it yeah, was yeah. very impressive. Ah, yeah. guys, I'm telling you, Fashion Ghana <laughs> is the next big thing coming. So yeah. stay tuned for more that is coming and thank you so much for your time let's go enjoy drinks it has been quite a pleasure thank <laughs> you <laughs> right about now i'm with mpo and i must say did you look amazing thank you very much and i like your place i should keep me when we leave here <laughs> we'll try and this is the post screening interviews and i want to know what did you like about every segment that we had which one is your favorite i think in the bag is my favorite because it gives us more insight on what people are trying to do for the country mm -hmm and what possibilities or opportunities can be created within the country. Yeah. I feel like within the time that we're within currently, there's a lot of depression, I'll say, a lot of sadness, I'll say. Exactly. So it's always nice to see that people are still trying to build themselves and build exactly. businesses, as to say. So yeah, I think that probably is the best segment for me. Yeah. yeah. You heard it from Mpo and I must say, what is your favorite segment from the first episode of Fashion Corner? Well, you heard it from him, and my favorite is the whole show, <laughs> as you all know. And that's it from us. Peace! We are still doing post-screening interviews, and with me is Mr. Capable, one of the hottest DJs in the country. Hi, how are you? Hi. <laughs> so, you watched the episode, right? Yeah. So, what was the feel like for you? What was the highlight of the episode for you? Well, I can say the whole episode is nice, mm -hmm. but I love, is it traveling? Yeah. Fashion travel? Yeah, I oh, love traveling. I think you reveled the soul too, you know. When we think of traveling, we think of Devon, going to Devon, going to Singapore, 
but now you revealed uh, the mountain kingdom to our receiver, so I love traveling so much. So I think there you did wonder, so I love it. I go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I also love it so much. Yeah. So in the next episode, what would you like to see? Um, a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't have a specific thing to to see, but I think you should touch base on fashion, also traveling, go further about traveling, of course we fashion, will. like a lot of things. So yeah, that's all. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll definitely take that into consideration. And you can tell us in the comment section what you you would like to see in the next episode. And that's that's it from us. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it, I must say. And right about now, I am with the second runner-up of Face Off Lesotho Fashion Week, Modise Mahasani. How are you doing, sir? Incredible, how are you doing? I'm doing I'm good. Fine, I'm and to fine. think that we are in the same competition and you got to win is like, a hey. Man, it had to be what it was. <laughs> so, I <laughs> can't say much about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I want to ask you about how did you actually uh, see the a whole episode of Fashion Corner and what are you hoping to see next time when we have the second episode? First of all, I want to applaud the Soto Fashion Week for the collaboration they did with Chad. That was big. Yeah. And it is incredible. And um, I'm anticipating a lot of more engagement, I guess, mm -hmm. um, with the next es episode, I mean. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see more places I haven't seen in my country because there's too many. Yeah, because <laughs> we, we are just here to serve you yeah, fashion yeah. tourism. You yeah, understand? True. Yeah, you heard it from Mudise Mahasani. We are here to grace you with fashion and tourism. And right about now, we are going to our next interview. Let's get it. Peace. Our. This next guest that I have needs no introduction. He's an all rounder, the fabulous Eva. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mr. Program Director. Yes. So, for you, how did today go? How was everything? Today was uh, fantastic. I think the audience was amazing. It's a fashion night, so to see a turn up of the audience in their best, you know, like fashion taste, you know, outfits, it really meant a lot. Like they took this event seriously and they arrived on time. And I think the reception of the first episode was really amazing. Amazing. Mind blowing, right? Uh, very mind blowing. So, your favorite outfit for the night? Uh, I think my favorite outfit for the night. Um, I saw uh, the lady in um, a green um, uh, mermaid dress with some detailing of the show. show. I think it's Man or Mars, so I think it's Hulu. Yeah, that, 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 that was you know, a, a, an incredible look because I felt like it infused the modern and uh, more of like, you know, our traditional, you know, Incorporating you with it via this structure apparel and it was amazing. Yeah, it was fabulous. It was fabulous yeah. Yeah. So in regards to fashion corner, mm -hmm. what was your favorite segment of all of the four segments? <laughs> I thought of the segments, even though I can't recall the name by, by, by the segment, like uh, the actual name, mm -hmm. but there was a segment when um, there was an introduction you know, of the place you know, the location where the episode was shot. Oh, fashion travel. The fashion travel, yeah. I thought it was very informative. Uh, for someone who has never been, you know, to the, you know, to, to that place, but knowing it, you know, by the historical importance of it, maybe on texts or textbooks, I found that very informative. And it was my first time seeing it on video. So uh, I, was, I was really, really, like, um, meant a lot and I learned a lot from that. Yeah. So thank you so much for your time, Deva. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh. Hi, guys. It's such an honor to be next to Lesotho's Diamonds, Namasati Letolo. I introduce her to you guys. I'm so happy. How are you this I'm good, evening? thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm yes. so happy. <laughs> oh my God. So this is the post interview about Fashion Corner. So you want to get to know how you actually perceived the whole show and coming from you, I must say, oh, it's going to mean a lot. <laughs> Oh my god, I hope I don't take too much time. Yeah, yeah. But I loved everything about it, right? Mm -hmm. From the first segment where you were talking business, um, it really got me inspired to see young people talking business in our nation. Exactly. And it comes at a time when there's something the government is doing, though I can't go deep into it, mm -hmm. that's going to be promoting the Lesotho 
designers, crafts, and all sectors, you know. Mm -hmm. So I also like it that Judge has come on board to say I will do a collab. So it speaks volumes. It's like now there's a prophetic something happening right now because exactly. what you came up with is something that the government is actually working on. You'll see when it all comes out because hey. now it's still under the carpet, right? Exactly. So I also love the, um, the segment about um, fashion and travel. Mm -hmm. I liked it that you started with where who we are as yeah, exactly. the nation, our yeah. founder and all that, right? Exactly. And I'm like to somebody who does not know Lesotho, it's going to give them a picture of who we are, mm -hmm. where we come from, right? So by the time you go all around the nation will be having a good picture of what is Lesotho, who is Lesotho, exactly. who are Basotho, exactly. right? I... And I also even like to even um inside what's inside your back thing mm -hmm. because it, it had I saw a mask and I was like right you know everybody has to carry a mask we know that we are fighting this COVID-19 yeah we're trying to mitigate everything you know so I'm glad that inside our bags we have a mask I loved it you heard it from the queen I never say so ladies and gentlemen hey I had an amazing day with you and I feel like a special somebody when I'm next to her oh, because yeah on. I'm big now hey now <laughs> With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from her. Something big is coming in Lesotho. Let's stay tuned and Fashion Corner is right there to deliver everything to you. Let's get it. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. People came and they enjoyed the first screening of Fashion Corner. And I must say, Mad Fun was ahead and oh, I'm in film. Yes. Wow. Fashion Corner proudly brought to you by Lesotho Fashion Week in collaboration with Jet. And ladies and gentlemen, remember to follow us on all social media platforms, Fashion Corner Lesotho. Uh -huh. Fashion. Hashtag Fashion, Fashion Corner. Corner. We out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. We are done.